Hey, welcome back. Van here. Today we're going to be going over this vacuum marinade tumbler. This Chef's Elite vacuum marinade tumbler. I believe you're going to like this. I love it. It's a product that I've had in the past and then I ended up not having it. I'm not going to go into that. But now I've got a new one. And you're going to love this because what happens with this, I've had people ask me and I have to tell them in text or an email or in the comment section but it's better to tell you like this that what happens is when you pull a vacuum on this you're going to see everything raise up as you're pulling a vacuum on it and then it's going to turn for 15 minutes or you can set it for longer I like doing mine for 25 minutes it's the same thing as 24 hours so uh, when you release the pressure everything goes down that's when everything pushes up into the meat it's like treated timber they do the same thing with treated timber whenever they uh treated wood two by fours two by eights whatever so today we're going to be doing uh my recipe this is an a1 uh steakhouse but let me show you something in this book right here this is the chef's elite and inside here you've got a lot of information but you've also got recipes and if you like, I'll go ahead and just tell me in the comment section. I'll go over these recipes and I'll do them in videos if you want. And we'll try them out and see how good, how doggone good are they. This comes with a three-year warranty. You can't go wrong with that. So uh, let's get started. Right now it's an unlock, unlock position. We've got our meat cut. We're just going to throw it in here. Oh, yeah. This thing right here is great for... Uh, chicken, pork, it don't matter. It don't have to be beef jerky. It can be for something on the grill. You can do mushrooms. If you want to saute some mushrooms, use this thing right here and it'll push all that marinade and juices up into it. Uh, and the recipe that I'm using for today, you can find that in the video description down below. Uh, the complete ingredients. Move this over here. And we're gonna open this up, and right here you'll see that it's got a door. You wanna open that door up and pull this tube out. Put that tube in the top of your vacuum tumbler like that. Let me turn this thing around here so you can see it. And right here on the front, you've got some, you got the time up, you got the time down, you've got the uh, function button. Right now it's pulling a vacuum. Uh, it tells you on here that I uh, can't read that upside down, but it tells you their suggestion for how long to do this. I don't need to pull a vacuum yet. I haven't put any marinade in it. So let me stop that. Put some marinade in here. This marinade, I made it yesterday. I like to let my marinade sit for a little while. This actually sat overnight. I like to let my marinade sit over a while so to let all the dry ingredients reconstitute and marry themselves together all right all right what you're going to do now after you take this out you want to put this firmly in here and turn it to the middle of the lid right here now we're going to turn the vacuum on the function it'll take two to three minutes for it to pull a vacuum next i want to tell you about this uh, meat marinator should be pulling a vacuum now so it comes with this if you buy this model right here the one that I'm gonna leave in the video description down below you just tenderize your meat with it your uh, pork chicken beef it doesn't matter it's pulling a vacuum right now but it comes with that that's a great thing you can't beat that that's pretty expensive if you look online and try to buy one those by themselves most of the time run around 20 and up, $20 and up. So we're gonna keep this right here in the center. This machine's gonna beat three times and then we're gonna flip it to the lock. Right here, we're gonna turn it till it's locked. All right, we're gonna turn it till it's locked. We're gonna pull this out, put this back where it came from, close the lid, 
and we're going to start it. It's set on 15. We're going to bump this thing up to 25 minutes. Turn the tumbler around right here. And we're going to let it go. All right, now that this thing is done after 25 minutes, what we're going to do is turn this dial right here. Can you hear that? It's releasing the pressure. We're going to sit this to the side. We're going to put it in the dehydrator. All right, what if it's in touch base on? has nothing to do with the vacuum marinator. This video is about the vacuum marinator and making some jerky too, I guess. So what we have here in the back, we've got it set at 140 degrees. We're going to run that for an hour. And then we're going to bump it up 10 degrees to 150 for an hour. Then we're going to put it in the smoker at 225 until it gets to an internal temperature of 165. Then we're going to put it back in the dehydrator at 145 degrees. That's where we're at right now. We've got five more degrees to go at 225 degree temperature in the smoker. All right, it's been just a few minutes. Let's open it up and see what we got here. Oh... Oh, my makeshift racks, because Charbroil doesn't make racks the right size. No replacement racks for Charbroil. Charbroil, bad review. <laughs> Let's get it in the dehydrator. All right, now that we're fixing to bring the meat over, I've got this probe sitting in here right now, and that's going to, uh, I'm going to plug it up, and it's going to tell me the temperature of the unit itself. All right, let's get this in here like that we're gonna throw a piece of meat in here that's got the probe in it this is a great great uh, thermometer right here let's see you go like that and then if you want to see what it is then you go like that so uh, it's 159 degrees coming out of the dehydrator we're going to drop the temperature down 145 degrees yeah so look at this the uh, meat's got an internal temp of 131 right now it dropped since I pulled it out we'll look at that right there just letting it cool off some here on the cooling racks and, and when you check your jerky the way you ch check it is you gotta let it cool off to like room temperature and then check it because right now it's still drying because it's still hot but that's that's perfect right there let's give it a shot let's give it a try let's give it a what fur alrighty then let's give her a shot I love beef jerky before I try this I want to tell y'all thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching I really enjoy each and every one of you be sure to use the comment section down below tell me what you think and there will also be lots of links in the video description because there's so many great things in this video, and I want to share them with you. So let's give it a shot. Steakhouse beef jerky. Hmm. Well, look at that. Would you just look at it? Hmm. Oh. That is good. That's perfect on the tenderness. Hmm. The A1 flavor. The steak, the steak sauce flavor. Wow. It's not real salty. It's not overpowered with smoke. It's, I believe it's just right. It's perfect. Well, I wish my friend Matt Dell was here to try this with me. For Gabriel. For Calvin. Mmm. My, my.